Hi guys! For today I wanted to make a sea themed page. So I am starting by sketching out the position of a little island with the two palm trees and my sea. Drawing palm trees is fairly easy, so don't be intimidated to try it yourself too. Anyway, the purpose of our journaling is playing and experimenting. After putting down my sketch, I will start to color certain elements. For the palm trees I decided to go with cutting brush markers, but you can easily use art by Marlene Acrylics as I did for the rest of the elements. Not sure is it noticeable on camera, but I'm trying to switch between one lighter and one darker shade of green when coloring my palm trees. But later on I will do some more shading with uh, simple pencils to add more depth. Now after laying down the first layer of color on my palm trees I started to work on my little island. And I mixed uh, three Art by Marlene acrylic paints to get somewhat of a sand color. Later on I will add some more colors on the island and the trees, but at this moment I will start working on the sea. And as you can see I have chosen, uh, for now, three acrylic paints. I said for now, as later on I will add a white acrylic paint as well, to make an effect of uh, sea foam. I am blending the colors directly on the paper using one of the Art by Marlene brushes. While applying the paint I'm trying to make swirly brush movements as I was trying to make an effect of a wavy sea. This process involved a lot of switching back and forth between uh, colors until I reached the effect that I wanted. Now after I was satisfied with how I made the sea, I went to add some more details to the palm trees and the island. And here I'm just trying to add different shades of the same colors to give more depth to my image. Two finishing moves to the trees and the island was to add some framing with using a black Posca pen and some highlights using a white gel pen. Now that I have more or less finished my uh, background, I decided it was time to add the focal image. And it comes from the latest release from Art by Marlene and it is one of these water transfers. Here you can see exactly how I will apply the water transfer. But first, you have to be very aware that if your background is colorful, it will somewhat dull the brightness of the image. To prevent that from happening, I applied a thin layer of white acrylic paint where I thought I will place the mermaid. And very importantly, I made sure that the layer of acrylic paint was fully dry before placing the mermaid. Now for this step I used a brush, but you can use a damp sponge or a cloth. And I have applied the water on the background of the image. And ta-da! You can see how it finally looks. And because I have prepped my background with some white acrylic paint, the image stayed pretty vibrant. Okay, now the time was to make the sky. For this I used a mix of two acrylic paints and placed the paint rather randomly, but now I wanted to put some sun. For making the sun I used one of the stencils from the Calming Trio package and the Happy acrylic paint. For my sun to stay vibrantly yellow against the blue background I just put uh, several layers of yellow paint. And now I will show you a little trick how to make cute little clouds. First I drew the outline of my cloud with the white acrylic paint and then spread the paint inwardly using a brush. And using the same technique I made very many clouds. 
Now the thing which you can see me do is trying to make a little water droplets and I did that by putting just one single drop of paint on the paper and then with the top of the needle pulling that plane to give it that droplet shape. Now a few bonus little details to my page and that is adding a glamour glitter. I added the one in the gold color to my sun and the one in the diamond color to the mermaid tail. Sometimes when I make pages like this I just can't stop adding some details. Here you will see me giving the mermaid a pearl necklace and hair decorations. These kind of details come spontaneously to me and honestly it just depends on your fantasy and what kind of supplies you have around. And I don't know why, but I feel my art journal page is unfinished if I don't add a sentiment. So I added one which comes from the Sticky Quotes booklet from the Bold and Bright collection. And it says, life won't sparkle unless you do. And here I will stop adding any more details. And I will consider my page finished. I hope I managed to inspire you and put you in some nice tropical mood. Thank you for watching my video and see you next time. Bye!